What's up everybody? Well, I just have a quick little video to show you guys today. Somebody wanted to know what my settings were again, and I honestly can't remember what the heck I named that last settings video. I think I just named it something like answering comments or something, but I figured I'd just make a new one, make it way easier, and then also fig figured I'd include a couple tricks and tips that also might have just gotten lost in random videos by now. So why don't we not waste any more time and hop right in and start what I was gonna start. All right, so. Here's the settings I have from manual. I kind of have about 70, I have it start ramping up and then once it hits 80, well, 81 I guess in this case, then it uh, goes up to 100% fan speed and I've got both of these guys just max the fuck out. And then for GPU, same, just have it go up. At least this one I have at 100% at 80 instead of 81. But other than that, there, I've got all my other guys here, like my panel overdrive is grayed out, but that's just because I'm hooked up to an external monitor. There's our fans, like, ramping up like crazy because I've got OBS running, and it always does that. And then also, before we get out of this program, not Windows, we want silent. If uh, you also take a peek up here, I have this limited to not have turbo on. And I'll try to remember to include the video where I show how to do that, for anyone's interested, uh, in the description but we don't want that. We want it back on this guy. Anyway, though, let's move on. Now, just real quick, my AMD settings. I have everything else in here stock besides I have overclocked CPU on, and it seemed to do something. I don't know for sure if it's placebo, but it sure seemed like it helped. And we also have AMD Smart Access Memory on right here. So if you are wondering if it's on or off, you can come to this screen and check. But that's about all we got here, so why don't we go head into the next thing? So now I wanted to show you guys the graphics and how I get them and which ones I use. So this is what I do for this laptop. Just go there, hit submit. It'll go over here. Now if you're on Windows 10, click down here, grab that. Or if you're on Windows 11, you can come up here. But although to be completely honest, I think you can download either one and it doesn't honestly matter whatsoever. But still, there you can click on the details as well if you want to see what's the known issues on the uh, newest ones. Or if you want to be a little more safe, you can just go one lower than that to the one that was below this and then you shouldn't have like any issues really so other than that though you can download them right here so to get back to the download page so now why don't we go ahead and hop on back Went back one more time here. And then I also wanted to show you the same thing for uh, the chipsets. This is what I do. Luckily, it's right at the top. Hit laptop chipsets. Hit submit again. Same deal. You can pick either which one. I really don't think it matters. And then there's your details on all the ones it messes with and what it does. So now on to the next thing. Also, real quick, I wanted to show you guys what you guys can do if you're... GPU isn't using the right one, and it's only on like stuck on integrated graphics for some reason. Now, this isn't a 100% fix, but it worked for me 99.9% .9 of the time. So you'd come here. Let's just use this one as an example. Hit options, and then, as you can see here, you've got let Windows decide, power saving. You don't want that one, and then high performance. So what you would do is, well, right now it's saying it's doing it right right now, but if it wasn't, hit it like that, hit save. I'm just gonna hit cancel because it's already working properly. And then if it's not in that list, you can either go to your C or D drive or whatever drive it's in, and then go on down to add, and then it would show up in that list. And then you just click on it, hit the options, and do the same thing I just showed you. So now, let's do some benchmarks for fun. All right, so first benchmark we're gonna run here is some CPU-Z just for fun, see if it changed at all. Now, I do have a bunch of stuff on the down, on the desktop there just so I won't forget what to run, so that might affect these scores a little bit, I don't know, but this is just for fun anyway. So, let's go run the benchmark. Well, here's what we got for single. We got 611.4. Multi-thread, we got 60, or 6070.9. And then if we wanted to compare it to some stuff, you could come down here and we can see the latest and greatest stuff. So that's my other processor in the other room there. Intel's best right there, smokes it. If you want to go back to uh, my other older CPU, 900K, and then just for fun, 2700, because I had one of these too. Wow, completely owns that one. Anyway, on to the next benchmark. Next up, we're going to run a little Geekbench 5 here. 
So there's all the info up there. CPU benchmark in. We'll also do the GPU benchmark. And we'll also, not that one. We're doing it in 64-bit mode. There's my system information. Processor information. And then there's the GPU we're going to use. And we'll also do Vulkan as well. So now let's run these benchmarks. All right. CPU is done, or it's done running the CPU portion of the test here. And we got 1,477. Now, I thought I used to get 1,500 and something for single core. Hmm. Maybe it's just those things running about in the background messing it up a little bit. But this is just for fun. This isn't like I'm sitting here trying to get the world records or anything like that. But here's a little bit of the info there. Anyway. On to the GPU portion. So OpenCL GPU benchmarks all done. We got 107,508. I honestly don't know if that's impressive or not. It's been a while since I've ran this. Anyway, though, here's our system info again. Processor info again. And then we got some system info, like memory and all that. And the GPU. And then here's the actual tests. If I scroll up to, it's too quick, you can obviously stop, but now on to the next one. And now for the Vulcan score, we got 86,820. And again, we'll just scroll through real quick through the system info and processor info and memory info and whatnot. There's the timings for my particular RAM right there. But now there's the Vulcan performance of those little tests right there. So, why don't we go ahead and move on to the next benchmark. Next up, we got some trusty old Cinebench R23, and we're going to do the CPU, single-core, and multi-score tests, and check out the rankings and all that. So, I'll go shut off OBS, and let's get started. Cinebench R23 is all done. We got 1,420 points for single, and we got 13,256 for multi, so not bad. Obviously not record breaking or anything either, but still, I'm happy with that considering it's a laptop that I haven't done any fancy tinkering with. But I saw some people getting good scores in uh, our chat in Discord, so I might have to try some of what they did. Anyway, let's look at some of the single core stuff here. Here's where it stacks up there. Not quite on the top of the charts, but seconds, not too bad. And I bet if I tinkered with it, I could get it up too. But on to the next benchmark. Now we're going to run some Fire Strike and some, uh, also some Time Spy right here. Not Time Spy Stream, but Time Spy. So back to Fire Strike here. I'm going to go shut down some OBS and we'll see what it gets. Well, all right, for our Fire Strike score, we got 28,063, which is apparently great. There's your score, average, best, and all that. Graphic score right there, physics score right there, combined score right there. Oh, and these are all on an external monitor, by the way, because that's just the way mine always is. So if you're wondering why they're higher than what you're getting, that could be one reason. But as you just saw, I am not at the top of the charts, not even close, really. So lots of people get better than what I'm getting here. <laughs> Which makes me want to go tinker. <laughs> I'm just worried I'm going to break something, though. Every time everyone says stuff's easy and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, press start. I do. I press start like everyone else. It's like, oh, no, it's all broken. What'd you do? It's like, I press start like everyone else. Anyway, why don't we move on to the next benchmark? Last up here, we got Time Spy, 11,178. Here's our graphics score and CPU score. And in this one, it honestly says I'm, like, worse than average. That's interesting. And a little disappointing, but, hey, it is what it is. You can't win them all. There's the little bar graph right there. Then we can scroll down and look at this other detailed monitoring bar real quick. And then after this, we'll go and wrap this video on up. It's like I said, it's going to be a short one, but I wanted to make a pretty interesting video that actually was helpful for more than one person, as well as helping one person. So now, let's go wrap the video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for this little tiny video. I know it's not very long, but all right, that was random. I think Misty's playing or something. I just heard her go, rawr, 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 and then just ran out of the room. But anyway, so that's about all we got for this video. Just a short little one, but wanted to show the guy who wanted to see my settings, what he wanted to see. Hopefully that is what he wanted to see. If it's not, he can let me know. And then anybody else who's interested also will be able to just watch this video and I can just send them the URL to it, you know? Anyway, though, I'm just blabbering on and on. It's time for us to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until the next one, peace out, guys.